All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, in today's video, we are going to be opening 12,000 packs. That's right, you heard me. 12,000 packs. People are always asking, like, which packs are best, or which packs are for this or for that. Uh, there's not a best pack, I would say, but I'll show you my three best packs that I consider my best packs. Everybody's going to have different individual tastes, uh, but I'll show you and I'll open them on three different accounts so you can see what you get uh, per like 4,000, all right? So if you go to Event Gold in the PW Boutique, uh, you'll see that in the pack sections. My three favorite packs are, and um, these are my reasons, Demon Hunter, that one has the Ice Shard coins, all right? And you need those for your uh, Crown of Madness helmet, all right? And then there's the Deities, these ones will get you uh, more coinage, I believe. So, because you get more of these perfect tokens of best luck, and you change those for the 10 million notes, and then you change that for coins. And then the other best packs would be your Delicate Moons. That one will give you a chance to get the Jaden Crystals, which are the most expensive thing on the server. All right. Now, uh, most of this applies to this server. But I think it also applies to most other games and stuff too. Uh, you'll see I mean, everything is generated through a random number generator. And so the higher amount of packs you get, the better chances you get of getting those big ticket items, you know, like the DOTs, the Jadens, uh, Crown of Madnesses, and somewhat the uh, Scroll of Tome. All right. And so what we're going to do is first off, we're going to have this one he will be opening up the deities all right so let's go uh my increments that i like to buy at is a higher number a, a lot of people well, i see in the comments uh, say you know i bought a uh, hundred uh, packs and i didn't get crap for it well yeah you have to get a lot of packs first all right so i always like to go at a nice round even number which is 40. So 40 of these DTs at three gold each will be 120 gold. We have that. Let's go ahead and buy them. Okay. And you'll see that I cleared out a whole bunch of room and space. So we do have, and I'll put them down here. I think I do the 11 and 12, so let me go ahead and put them in the 11 spot. And then, oh my cleric, we'll get him the demons. And I put the ice shards away so they don't, um, you don't get confused on how much they actually give on it. And then let's go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's also take out the perfect luck tokens on each one except for one and for you know we're going to be doing the big number okay so she's got four thousand delicate moon packs let's move them down here to the 11th slot uh we've only got one perfect luck tokens no best of perfect luck tokens here and i don't think there's too much more i mean you'll see these go up and let's see Let's make sure everybody's all set on the right. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go DT, Demon, and then Moon Packs, okay? And I wanna fast forward it because it's gonna take a long time. I think it's gonna be a couple hours each, like at least, what, uh, three hours each or something like that? So three hours condensed times four. Uh, if I sped it up times four, that would still be uh, an hour and like half and something like that. And I know you guys want to watch that. So I'm going to start it out. You're going to see kind of what the packs give you. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll fast forward to the end. And then we'll, we'll conclude to see what packs give the best items or for which application you're using them for. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our um, auto clicker going. I've got it over here. So you can see, so let's go ahead and get started. I gotta press the end button to start and we'll see you guys in a few hours.
All right, so we're done opening packs on this tune. Um, I don't know if I should show you now or show you then. I think I'll show you at the end so we can compare them all together. But I'm gonna go ahead and lock this one out. All right, so now it's time for the cleric. I know this is bad resolution because I'm remoting into this one from my other computer. So I pick packs on my other computer while I play on this one. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this started. And you first you'll see them, it builds up the ice charge pretty fast. And I think last time I counted, don't quote me on this, but you'll see at the end of this one, I think it's a little over 50% uh, packs to ice shards. So if you need 50,000 ice shards, you're gonna wanna open like 90,000 um, packs. All right, we'll go ahead and get this going. I'll record a little bit longer, um, speed it up, and then we'll uh, go to the next one. Alright, so I'm done with the Cleric's Demon Packs opening. Here we go. Now we're going to be opening the Venos. And this is going to be the Moon Packs, right? And I think pull up our auto clicker and let's get going. Okay, welcome back. Looks like all the tallies are in now. Uh, I've picked all 12,000 uh, mats. I'm sorry. I picked all 12,000 chests and I've added up all the totals of what the cost of everything was. And we'll just go, we'll just dive into this real quick. I'll show you. All right. So for the first one, we have the deities, right? And everything but behind the blank is what was gained from it also um, the perfect luck tokens okay so it seems like we've got 41,000 perfect luck tokens uh, 194 perfect best or perfect tokens of best luck or whatever and then a bunch of these come some of these crap mats this is worth a lot that's worth a lot that's worth a lot I was kind of surprised on how much we got on the diamond and uh, both the diamonds there uh, and a couple cubes of fate so that's the haul from that one that is the deity remember that all right let's go ahead and go into the demon pack so in this one it's a little bit different actually they're all different all right so you get a bunch of this stuff but you didn't get any of the perfect tokens of luck you only got 123 perfect tokens of best luck 
but here's the biggest uh, money gainer here is the ice shard coins uh, we got some cube of fate stamps some brilliant stones some fortification seals and the uh, diamonds are, aren't that much here not too many diamonds together I uh, got one yasha stone all right now let's hop on to the moon pack all right for the moon pack it stopped up there we didn't get any uh, perfect tokens of luck only 136 perfect token of best luck you got a match list you got a rare finger bead that was cool that's a big uh, money maker right there bloody stone but that was only for one item though just like anyways and we only got four diamonds no diamond of dragons which was surprising and metal of glory all right so um let's go ahead and tally this up now what i did was i went to the commission shop and looked at the bottom stable prices of each of those okay and so here's the list that i came up with and as you can see in the deities we got 900 mils from all the dots 1 billion from the uh, DODs. I mean, this is if you sell them at the bottom prices and stuff like that. You could get more for them if you take your time and stuff like that. And none of these items for those. You got five. Minutes. And well, here you guys can take a look at this, see how what you think. Uh, I've got the grand totals. Which comment in the comment section? Which one you think made the most money? Just off a quick glance, all right? And I will show you right here. There you go. That's the big unveil. Uh, the moon packs, because of the, uh, where's it at? Because of the finger bead right here, it gave an extra 500 mil boost. But if you didn't get that finger bead, which is a pretty rare one, it'd only be 2.2 .2 billion. Uh, demons, you got 3 billion. And deities, man, these things are rocking here at 4.1 billion. So what does that tell you? Well. If you're going for the Crown of Madness, then you probably want to do the Demons, the Demon Pack. Because even though I have the Ice Shard coins list at 220,000, most of the Ice Shard coins were actually are put in price for 350,000. So there were only like 3,000 total that were at 220, but the other ones were at 350. So uh, if you want the calm, I would say best to get the demon. But once you get the calm, you don't need the demon no more. Now you got to pick of the deities or the moons. The moon pack is the only one that will give you the Jaden crystal, right? And so that's the big gamble. You you have if you pick a little, I've heard over 120,000 packs before they got a Jaden and stuff. So if you're willing to sacrifice that much um, coinage, but the the Jaden Crystal, from what I gather, uh, someone told me that it last sold for 380 QB, and so 380 QB divided by the average price people are selling QBs, that is 185 mil. So that would be 70 billion you'd have to save up. So would it be able to, if you, if I spent all that money that I did here and just got nothing but deities, that would be 12 billion right here. As of course we sell all the match. So 12 billion and divided by the 70. That would be five. Five. I don't know how long that would take to, to get and sell all this, but um, depends on how quickly you get event gold and stuff like that you guys make your own decisions okay so if you want I'll leave this in the description area so you can copy it and check out some of the numbers yourself but uh, that's pretty conclusive of what we got you want to take another quick look we'll go through them real quick again okay so here's the deities you got all these plus those Now for the demons, you got all this, uh, plus that. And then for the moon packs, you had all these. All right. Okay, so I hope that uh, you guys got something good out of this. I hope it's entertaining. I just got an eye opener. I didn't realize that the DD packs are that good. I was going to start just opening the moon packs. 
But now I might just switch over and do the deities. But you also gotta remember, if you farm all that money, you make all that money and stuff like that, you still have to find someone willing to sell it, Jaden. And you don't ever see them for sale. So, and remember, these are current prices. They could change next week, next month. You got those new classes coming up, so you don't even know what that's gonna do to the prices of everything. So, all right, I hope you guys have fun. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section. And I'll see you guys back in game. Alright, peace. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and then share, please. Alright, bye.